Vancouver. It looks like the federal government is heading for a showdown with the provinces and territories over health care. A big funding change is looming, but the premiers aren't on board. Now we've learned that at a crucial meeting next week, a new one-time offer will be on the table. Catherine Cullen has the details tonight. Catherine? Wendy, Canada's finance minister is taking on the role of wheeler and dealer today. His pitch? Yes, you can have more health care money if you act now, but hurry, this limited time offer expires on Monday. Like all deals, though, some conditions may apply. There has already been meeting after meeting after meeting after meeting trying to build some consensus on health care spending. Up until now, no dice. We need to have a partnership on uh, supporting health care in a sustainable way, and right now we don't. On one side, the provinces and territories. Every year, the federal government gives them more money for health care, but next year that increase is scheduled to drop from 6% to 3 Without the money, you can't deliver the services. The future at this point is a bit dire. On the other side, the federal government, which says it has already offered a bit more money for other specific projects like home care and mental health resources. But it wants measures in place to ensure it will get results. We pay some of the highest costs in the world for health care, and we've got a middle-of-the-road health care system. Health and finance ministers meet Monday. Today, federal finance minister Bill Morneau said he'll put even more money on the table at that meeting, but there needs to be a decision that day. If we can get to an agreement that uh, includes measurable outcomes, better home care situation for Canadians, better mental health possibilities for Canadians, we will invest more. But if we don't, because the provinces uh, don't get on that page, then we will, we will stick with our campaign promises. Basically, take it or leave it. And it sounds like some will take it. The Brunswick Premier Brian Gallant isn't too concerned about the specifics of where the money comes from, only that there is more financial support. Other provinces, though, seem furious about Ottawa's take-it-or-leave-it approach. What is on the table is absolutely unacceptable. This is a bit of a shell game that the uh, Prime Minister and the federal government are playing, uh, but they're doing it on the backs of people's lives, and that's what really concerns me. So, Wendy, it's shaping up to be a heck of a meeting on Monday. Thanks so much, Catherine. Catherine Cullen in Ottawa.